Good morning, everybody. My name is Nathan. I did about four years incarcerated in Indiana. Two of those years were in Indiana State Prison. One of the years was in Plainfield, or IYC is what some people call it. Same prison Mike Tyson had went to back in the 90s. But Indiana State Prison is an infamous prison across this entire country. John Dillinger performed a, an escape there that, that you see at the beginning of the movie Public Enemies. That's, that's the same prison I was at. While I was in this prison, I met a na man named Ronald Sanford. I know him as Ariel. Not 100% sure what Ariel means, but I'm sure I'll so soon be able to tell you. Ariel, at 13 years old, had committed a very heinous crime. He committed this crime with a man named Sean Rowe, who at the time was 15 years old. You and I both know a 13-year-old and a 15-year-old that are together. The 15-year-old is usually the aggressor in any situation that you may have at hand. That being said, they decided that they were going to go mow lawns to go to the fair later that day. And when they knocked on the door of their neighbor's house, they declined and the boys, instead of going to the next yard down, pushed into the house. And unfortunately, the two women that were elderly lost their lives. I'm not trying to say that this is okay or anything like that. This did happen in 1987. Sean Rowe was very quick to testify and point fingers at Ronald, Ariel. And Ariel, at 15 years old, took a plea agreement for 170 years. One, seven, zero. And at that time, that meant 85 years because the laws prior to July 1st of 2014 were every day you serve, you get a credit for a day of good time. So 100 years meant 50 years. But half of 170 years is 85 years. That meant no parole until the very minimum age of 100. Unless he got his time cuts, which you can get four years time cut off by doing certain programs and whatnot, which Ariel, I'm sure, has done. But Ariel is one of the most kind, most intelligent people I've ever met in my entire life. And amongst my time there, I met some of the worst, most disgusting people that you could ever imagine in this world. Ever. Negrophiliacs. People that raped children, killed children. I mean, the stories will go on and stories will get better. Like I said, this is my first video, so give me a chance. Give me tips. Give me criticism. I can take it. Got thick skin. I, I survived that prison because of not being a punk and not being a sissy. And I can walk through those walls with my head held high, not worried about anything. Yes, I am affiliated, but that's not going to be said because I am not an active gang member. I was not in rotation when I was in prison because I went to prison at 30 years old. Well after my gang banging years were done. A lot of people did know who I was and what I was about, but for the most part, I was capable of minding my own business. But I did do a year in segregation 
in the Indiana State Prison's IDU unit, which is the intensive disciplinary unit. And I was told it no longer exists. It's the floor that's above X row, death row. Indiana calls it X row. It's the one state facility in Indiana that has death row. And it was the floor underneath where I was. So it, it was the highest secure unit you can get to next to basically ADX. But the prison being built in the late 1800s, early 1900s is very old. That's the old style bars and everything. And it is a very dangerous place to be. Ariel grew up there. Ariel walked behind that 40 foot wall at 15 years old. And the only time he's left there is in a black box and shackles going to and from court. Ariel has very little chance of ever seeing the light of day outside of that 40 foot wall. And as heinous as that crime is, 170 years for a 15 years old that committed the crime at 13 is just insane. The man is rehabilitated. And that, that's a hard feat being where he's at. He's in a legit war zone from the moment he wakes up to the moment he goes to sleep. He's been inside for 35 years. Sean Rowe, the older of the two kids, served just over two years on this case. Sean Rowe was also later arrested for molestation, rape, some sexual offense that had to do with incest and was given, I think, a 20 year sentence. I can look it up and repost I'm not sure I'm going to be learning how to edit and do stuff. I'm filming with my iPhone 13. So I'm sorry if this isn't perfect for you. But I have to get this story out here. Ronald Sanford needs a second opportunity at life. There is not a person that can sit down with Ronald for 30 minutes and believe that that man is a danger to society. And anybody doing 35 years in prison is either going to be the most humble person in the world, which many, many are, or the most unrepairable person in the world because of what the institution has done to them. I was very grateful to have only had to have served the short time I did. I should have never ended up in the prison I ended up in, but because I did, my life was saved. I was addicted to heroin prior to going to prison and I haven't touched it and I'm never going to touch it again. My 10 years off of heroin is coming October 22nd which is also my daughter's third birthday. And it's people like Ariel that ring in my head that left these impressions that are so strong that they're indescribable. Unless you've been touched by somebody like that inside, you can't describe it. You can't describe it and you can't even pretend to understand what it means. I'll never go back to prison unless it's to defend my family. And that I will go into prison holding my head very high about. Nothing else is worth it. But please look into Ronald's story. MSNBC has done a special on Ronald 
uh, and also revisited it. Just look up Ronald Sanford and in Indiana State Prison on this YouTube platform and you will find him. Ronald needs that second chance and please help me get this story out of here. And I will also be posting other videos about my experiences in prison. I've got some good ones, I've got some bad ones, but I've got some and some personal, but I, I'll tell you stories about some of the people I've met and some of the stories I've heard that I know for a fact are true because I've fact-checked stories. I'm not going to give you things that I just think are, are a story. I'm going to give you real raw facts. Thank you.